Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play NES games on your Nintendo DS. And the only thing you're gonna need for this is a DSR4 card to put all the files on and then load them on the DS, and a PC with an internet connection. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So once you guys are on your computer, you just want to go to the first link in the description, which will bring you to the Game Brew page. And on here you'll see a sub-page for NESDS, which is an open source Nintendo Entertainment System emulator for the DS. And this emulator works with pretty much all NES games, and it runs them at full speed. So yeah, I think this is the best one for the DS. So to download it, just scroll down a bit, and you'll see this link. So just click on that, and your download should start. And now we have everything that we downloaded on our desktop, so we can just extract all three files. So I'll start with the NESDS, and you can see that there are even more zip files in this zip file. So I'll just click on the latest one, and here are the files that we'll need, so just extract these two to your desktop, like so. And then we'll also need to extract the games, so just drag those on your desktop as well, like so. And now you can delete all three zip files. And now that we have all four files extracted, you'll need to connect your R4 card to the PC. So I already did that, so let's just navigate to it. And here it is. And for these two NESDS files, just move them over to the SD card, like so. And then we'll need to make a new folder on the SD card, and I'll just call it NES Games. Like that. And then I'll just move all my games inside of that folder. And then we can just check if they're moved. And yes, they are. So now you can eject the SD card and you should be good to go. So now I'm back at my DS and I have my R4 card inserted. So what you want to do is just launch it and it should load up into a menu like this one. So just click on game. And then you'll see a new app called NESDS, which is the emulator that we just installed and it will have a little Mario icon next to it. So we can just launch that. And it loads up into a menu like this one, and this just shows the root of your SD card. So what you want to do on here is just scroll down until you have the NES games folder selected. And then enter it. And in here you should see all your games. So I'll just load up Super Mario Bros. And as you can see the game loads up almost immediately. So we can press the start button. So yeah, as you just saw, the game runs perfectly and the sound works perfectly as well. And then if you want to play around with the settings, you can also tap the bottom screen and this little menu should pop up. So from here you can change the game by going into load ROM. You can also save the game right over here or load the save file. And yeah, you can do a bunch of other things like inputting cheat codes. And yeah, you can also fill around with all these settings if you want, but I just recommend leaving everything on default and playing like this. And you even have a little clock that tells the time up here. And when you're done with it, you can just click hide menu and play on. So yeah, that'll be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.